Patrick here, editor at Carolinas Today, bringing you the Abrams SAE Blaster 120 Hideaways. And for civilian use, I've opted to get them in the white on white color. So there's no amber, no red, no blue, no green, just white on white. All right, this is what the white box looks like when it comes in. Very simple. But I tell you what, what's in here is very, very bright. Start off. It has a built in flasher module so you can actually run it without a control panel. Comes with what looks like to be six feet of wire, maybe more. They're roughly the same size as a light bulb that would fit into either your driving lights or into your uh, reverse lights or your stop tail turn lights. Let's see. Very, very small. Let's do this here. Make sure we're getting this real good. Very small. That's why they call them hideaways. Okay. So what I've got rigged up here is my uh, kind of off-the-cuff uh, test bench here. I've got a positive and a negative wire here. I'll tuck this here so it doesn't fall down anywhere. You can see the control module, very small. You can zip tie to anything, or even uh, 3M tape it. Okay. The light here. Now, you've got red, blue, black, yellow, and white. There are various mounting options that you can get with it. It comes with the flush mount mounting bezel, a couple of screws, and a rubber gasket. Or it's a, looks like neoprene maybe. That all comes in the box. They do have mounting brackets that allow you to mount it behind your grill. And uh, at that point, it's still hidden, still flush mount, but away from everything. Why? They're hideaways. Alright, so the black wire is negative. The blue wire is the pattern switch. We'll cover that in just a second. Yellow is the synchronized function, which allows you to wire it to other lights and have them all synchronized and flash exactly the same. Red wire is the positive, says you need to add a 2 amp fuse to it. And the white wire is the stop turn brake steady burn option. Now on the steady burn option, the amount of light that actually comes out of the LEDs does decrease after about 5 or 6 seconds. And then what happens... Uh, as it decreases, it's either to 40% or by 40% uh, to extend the life of the LEDs, and that's according to Abrams. So, anyway, let's go ahead and hook up the negative wire. Let's see what we got here. Got the negative, and I'm going to put that back here. Negative's hooked up. And the red wire, now I've got it on a 2 amp circuit breaker here with a reset on it. Let's go ahead and run this over here and we're live. Now this here is the factory flash, okay, and it shows up a little bit blue maybe in the camera there, but it is white. It is absolutely white. Now according to the instructions here, the blue pattern switch, if you connect it to the negative for just a second, it should change patterns. or I'll put in the description how many flash patterns are actually are on there. But you guys you can see it is bright. And if you push and hold it for just
push and hold it on there, I believe it says for five or eight seconds, something like that, it allows it to go back to the factory default. So we're going to turn that off. Now I don't have a second light here in order to show you the synchronization function on it, but the constant on function, which I know a lot of people are going to go for, uh, is going to be hooking it up to the white wire. Now as you see, that is very, very bright. And in a second here, you'll see a decrease. There's your decrease. Looks like it decreases by 40%. And like I say, that's in order to allow it to extend the life of those LEDs. But uh, I'll show you some uh, finished pictures of it here in a little bit on uh, Facebook of the actual finished product installed in one of either the daytime running lights on the front of the truck here or in one of the reverse lights. Uh, but that, in a nutshell, is the Abrams uh, BH120. And uh, go to the link that's listed below here. And, or actually, I'll put it above here so that way you don't get in the way of the light here. Um, and you can check out their uh, website and see the various other products that they do offer. And don't forget to subscribe to the magazine online. And check out our alternate website, dvdtactical.com, uh, for various different products and tactical gear and safety equipment. See you on the range.